If you are a speaker, a public speaker, or a writer, you're probably often searching for ideas about what to talk about. And a good way to make sure you get your ideas, because they're always forthcoming, they're always coming up into your mind, is to make a note of them immediately. Just a few lines, maybe even a couple of words, that will put you on track to remembering about what you thought about, so that you can put it up as a video, like I'm doing now, or as speech content, or as an essay, if you're an essay writer. I came upon this little piece of paper in a notebook, which I tore out of the notebook, and it's got written on it, the sandals of accountability. Story, Pampered Princess. That story occurred in the book written by this man. Michael Bunting and his mindful leader. And he tells us a story about a pampered princess who lived in a country where her father was all powerful and of course very wealthy. The princess was walking one day in a garden when a thorn pricked her foot and she went home complaining to her father, the king, I want the whole kingdom carpeted so that this doesn't happen again. I don't want to get a thorn in my foot so you had the power, father, carpet the whole land. Now the father thought to himself, and he loved his daughter dearly, Wow, how can I do that? How is that possible? But I'll call the wise man and see what he's got to say. So he called his wise man and the wise man said to him, This problem is easily solved, sire, easily solved. Just make the princess some thick, warm slippers and this is what happened so instead of having to carpet the whole land she just had the slippers the message being here is that why try to change the whole world when it's far easier to change yourself that was the message And another thought occurred as I was taking down that note. There's a show on TV called You Made Me Do It. Now, I haven't watched the show and I don't know what it's about, but I'm guessing that it's about people who whose ego is triggered and they fly into a rage or perhaps do something dreadful, as we know people do. They fly into rages, they burn people's houses down with people in them, they bomb cars, they hold grudges. You made me do it. But nobody ever made them do it. The anger, the rage, the revenge, all of these feelings were already within them waiting to be triggered, waiting to be triggered by some perhaps chance remark, even a sneer or a look, and the anger wells up. Whose responsibility is it? You made me do it? Rubbish. When you say you made me do it, you're giving your power, your decision-making power to somebody else even though they haven't taken it from you. You willingly give away your autonomy, your ability to be a decision maker in your life when you say, you made me do it. The world is not going to change for you. The world is as it is. As it is. If you want the world to seem different, and it will be different, you need to change yourself. 
don't try to change the world. Don't expect some God up there to carpet the whole world with soft carpet so you won't prick your feet. Put your own slippers on. Become autonomous, a decision maker, an independent person. The power always resides in you. It always has. From the moment you grew up, from the moment you left that childhood days behind you, you became an autonomous person. Use that autonomy. Be the decision maker. Be the person who moulds your life, creates your life, creates your world. It's always been in you to do this. So don't blame anyone else for your unhappiness. You create your life. You create the way you see your life. You create the way you feel about life. So take responsibility for it and stop blaming others.